Thanks for taking the time to talk. I wanted to ask you about the artifact you found on Vectera. When you pulled it from the rock, held it in your hands for the first time, how did you feel? No, no, I, I don't think you understand. I know about the visions, the light, and the music. How did you feel inside? What were your thoughts? Hmm, that's an interesting reaction. But I suppose it shouldn't surprise me. When dealing with the artifacts, common sense tends to go right out the window. If there is, the artifacts are doing a heck of a job hiding it. The artifacts are so different, so alien. And I'm certain one of them reached out and spoke to you. Quite the mystery. Agreed. Unfortunately, there's no way that I know of to reply. And believe me, I've been trying to gather data on the damn things for years. Frustrating? No. Bewildering? Yes. It would be... Oh, well... An explorer's dream to solve a mystery like this. I knew I picked the right person for the job. Look, I wanted to thank you for taking the time to talk, and for keeping an open mind. And I also wanted to say, well, I'm pleased we're on this journey together. <laughs> it's the best decision I've made in quite a long time. Sure they get what they require. That must make you my vanguard captain. Welcome to Interstellar Affairs. I'm Deputy Chief Diplomat McIntyre, Chief Yassine's second in command. I heard you were instrumental in protecting the city from the attack. You have my gratitude. I was also informed that you gave quite the presentation to the cabinet. Chief Yassin wants you to know the Interstellar Affairs Office is fully committed to this endeavor. Accessing the Terramorph data and beyond. We're going to do everything in our power to make sure you have the tools you need. And that means first getting you into the Archives. You do know what the Archives are, correct? Hmm. Someone paid attention in current events. So, then you also know that it was originally managed by the three major galactic players. Access to the archives is only granted in cases of dire emergency, and requires a one-time use code from each of the three Armistice signatories. UC, Freestar Collective, and House Varun. Now, the UC is already on board, so that means we'll need to convince two people. The Ambassadors of the Freestar Collective and House Varun to hand over their codes. Get them both and you'll have your data. But that's a lot easier said than done. I couldn't agree more. However, both Ambassadors have reasons they won't, or can't, 
work with us. Now, I'll provide guidance on how we believe you can acquire each code, but ultimately, it'll be up to you to get them both to cooperate. And I do mean cooperate. Threats and violence are off the table here. Though that doesn't mean we can't get creative. But it does mean we need to get you up to speed on who you're dealing with. Who do you want to start with? Ambassador Radcliffe of Freestar, or Ambassador Balmore of House Varun? Ah, the good Ambassador Radcliffe. She's a veteran of the Colony War, and her only goal in life is to make ours miserable. If Sam is any example of how stubborn the Freestar people can be, then I can imagine how difficult it must be dealing with this ambassador. Now, officially, our office is suggesting you try and negotiate with her. Use your experiences as a member of the military and with the threat we're facing to convince her to lend her support. And who knows? Maybe that'll work. Stranger things have happened. But my suspicion is we're going to have to rely on other tools to get her code. Certainly. See, good diplomacy is all about the careful application of pressure. We just need to find the squeeze. UC Intelligence has a recording device planted in the Ambassador's living quarters, which we suspect you can use to your advantage. But getting caught trespassing is a quick way to land yourself in an embassy holding cell. So, if you are going to try and access the device, you're going to need to find a way in there without being seen. Now, we recovered some intel we believe should be able to help with that. But there's also a disgruntled staff member you might be able to pump for information. Maybe even convinced to work with you. Name's Cameron Long. He's younger than Ratcliffe, bears less of a grudge towards the UC. He works closely with the Ambassador, making him a promising source for information on the ins and outs of Embassy life, and someone who very likely hates her guts. All right. Here, your diplomatic ID. I'll give them a heads up, you're on your way. Not likely to let you through the door otherwise. And take these. Chief Yassine wanted you to have some options on how to proceed in there. Ambassador Balmore's... a challenge. When the rest of House Varun retreated into seclusion shortly after the signing of the armistice, Balmore stayed here. He's since lent his support to a small number of archival requests, so there's real hope he might again. Though claiming to know how a member of House Varun thinks is a quick way to earn yourself a psych eval. Well said. There's no reason to assume they're any worse than us, despite their cultural beliefs. Of course, but there is another wrinkle. We're not 100% sure Balmore's actually still alive. His public appearances were always rare, but it's been several years now since he last poked his head out. Scans of the facility show life signs, but not the kind we were expecting. Your task is to find him and kindly but firmly remind him of his duties under the Armistice. The Varun delegation brought more than a few of their native flora with them when they set up in the Embassy. It seems those plants have been allowed to flourish, making it hard for us to verify what's flora and what's ambassador.
The embassy is still legally House Varun's sovereign territory, so we're not technically permitted inside. We've snuck in the occasional spy, of course, but the ambassador has proven more... evasive than you'd expect for a man of his age. But we're quite sure he hasn't left the city. The man stands out. Then you search the embassy for his biometric key, collect your code piece, and we'll go about notifying his next of kin, if we can ever find them. But let's hope it doesn't come to that. It would at least be a speedier negotiation, but I, of course, hope the ambassador is alive and well. Now, the embassy front door isn't an option, but our spies have stated there's a side entrance that should allow you access. Here, this device should get you all the way down to the embassy interior. Once you're inside, though, finding the ambassador is going to be up to you. And fair warning, we received a report that alarms might have been tripped inside the embassy during the attacks. Watch out for automated security in there. Now, if you have additional questions or require clearance for a new approach we haven't already discussed, don't hesitate to ask. I'd suggest you start with Ambassador Radcliffe. Approach her while the attack is still fresh in her and her staff's mind. Be smart out there, Captain. Excuse me. I need sign off from the interstellar affairs. Maybe we should stop for a moment at the memorial. You know, to pay our respects. You are visitor. Hard to believe it's been two decades since we were. Visitors are only allowed in the lobby, offices, or I'm going to be up for I'm not happy visiting anything related to the Freestar Collective. But you lead, and I'll follow. I just wish I hadn't received the news from an SSNN broadcast. We have a strategic advantage to maintain, Mr. Long. Of course, ma'am. I'll make sure it doesn't happen again. Uh, excuse me. Are you supposed to be in here? This building is Freestar Sovereign Territory. So in here, we're the law. I'm sorry. Do you have an appointment? Ah, you're the one McIntyre called about. The eyewitness. She said you were at the spaceport. You have my thanks for what you did down there, truly. Saved many lives. Now, she also mentioned that, and maybe it was just a bad connection, that now the UC wants Terramorph data from the Armistice Archives, some of the most highly guarded information in the galaxy, in order to protect us all. I can only presume you're here to tell me I misheard her and that they didn't send you, local hero, to futilely beg on their behalf. Tell me I've got that right. Hmm, I was afraid of that. Let me be frank, Captain. The answer is no. That information is there because it is dangerous. I will not be the one responsible for its release. Now, why don't you quit wasting my time, and yours, and go.
will oversee the research. Hmm. Guess that takes the whole trust us component out of play, doesn't it? That, that does seem like a workable idea. Fine. You'll get what you want. Follow me. Tell me it should only take a moment. And there. Toad generators just this way. It's a shame House Varun abandoned their embassy. what I expected at all. It appears the flora they were using as decor has overgrown the entire embassy. Be happy to get.
洗龙。Stock up on junk. Something for bye for now. So Seems punishment becomes providence. <laughs> A reminder we can never truly know the Great Serpent's designs for us. You have my thanks, and my apologies for the ordeal you just endured. Come, let us discuss. Not the ideal introduction, I suppose, giving you a grand tour of the embassy via barely functioning intercoms. <laughs> I do greatly appreciate your persistence. I suspect the Venom Tree upstairs has worked itself into more systems than I'd realized. But then again, who could cage such a beauty? Eh? Tell me, though, what is it like outside? I heard the broadcast mentioning an attack, uh, then the embassy was struck with a power surge, and then... Silence. Has the rest of the city suffered quite so badly?
<sighs> Is that right, huh? I shall need to have these repairs seen to sooner rather than later. Now, it cannot solely be the Serpent's Grace that brought you here at such an opportune moment. You were sent by the UC. That much is obvious. Who else could just waltz through my door, hmm? And the broadcast spoke of terror morphs at the spaceport. A worrying occurrence, certainly, but coming here of all places, when all I could provide is some enthused cheerleading and... Ah... Uh, an archive code. So the UC requires information, then. On terror morphs, presumably, hmm? Do I see this all clearly? Yeah, the preservation of life stands as the very purpose of the Archives. Using its data to prevent more attacks? There is logic there. But, if I am to grant you access, I have a requirement. For years, House Varun has been known only as an agent of slaughter. We founded this embassy with hopes of shedding that legacy. With little success. In exchange for my code, I require this. You must be the one who ensures it is used for good. Ensure House Varun's legacy is more than just carnage. The knowledge you ask for isn't evil. No knowledge is. It is we who bend it to evil ends. Oh, you must assure me this will be used to save lives, not endanger them. As the Chair of Constellation, I take personal responsibility in vouching for this man's integrity. He'll keep his word. Well then, I shall not fear. Please, follow me. <sighs> Let's hope it still works. Dropping off a of um, talk to you later. There, let it be used for good.
imagine how many credits flow through this place? Figuratively, of course. Back sooner than. Oh, oh, wait. Did did you actually succeed with Radcliffe and Balmore? We're all in agreement. That's incredible. I wasn't sure Radcliffe would ever get on board. I'm very much looking forward to getting the debrief on how precisely you managed to pull all this off, but. That'll have to wait for another time. Regardless, superlative work, Captain. And now, I've already arranged everything with the archival monitors. When you get down there, the UC monitor will give you instructions on how to deploy the codes. Follow them to the letter. Here, the UC code piece and an archival access card. The entrance is just on the other side of the plaza across from Mast. Absolute best behavior down there, all right?
on Vanguard business? Yes? There you are. Captain? Deputy told me what went down. Impressive work. Captain, if you'd be willing to transfer the documents to the Major, she and I have been discussing what comes next. Time for us to start getting some real answers. And figure out if we've been asking the right questions. So whenever you're ready. Acknowledged and accepted, Captain. So with the data out of the way, we've been discussing where exactly this work's getting done. The Red Devil's headquarters on Mars, back where you found Percival, seemed the natural spot. Already has the equipment, the safety measures. Though it sounded like the deputy had a few more things she needed to discuss with you first. Indeed. The most important of which is getting you your citizenship. Then I guess we'll see you on Mars. Captain, if you'll follow me. Howdy. what they're doing to stop new alien attacks on the city. He said, top minds were on it. Sure hope they know what they're doing. Captain, are you ready to become a citizen of the United Colonies? Good. This isn't the only item we need to discuss, so I'll give you the short version. Please raise your hand. Captain, through your actions today and in days past, you have earned your place among the United Colonies. Through service, bravery, strength, and upholding of the mutual good, Will you carry and cultivate these values for as long as you remain a citizen? Then, Captain, I'm pleased to welcome you into the United Colonies as a full citizen. Here, your official ID and your citizenship dispensation. We've also let the Aphelion Realty Office out in the plaza know you're approved to purchase property. Now, the other item we needed to discuss. There's a member of the UC who's asked to speak to you, but this person is in a sensitive position normally we wouldn't even consider something like this but we think this person has information that could prove useful in dealing with the terramorphs and they've stated they'll only share it with you they asked for you by name so i need your agreement that everything you're about to see is kept in the strictest confidence you can tell no one can you agree to these terms I'm sorry. I can't share any more without your word. Do I have it? Let's hope it never comes to that. Head to the elevator. You're going to subsection 7. I'll make sure you're cleared for access by the time you get there. my entire life, and I had no idea this place even existed. 
The UC certainly excels at keeping secrets. I'll be fine. You go on ahead. years. 
He's likely gone feral by now. Easier for all if you simply blow up his ship and be done with it. If that's what you require to sleep at night, so be it. According to my information, he's been hiding around the world of Etheria. Wolf system. There is a star station in the vicinity. The Den. The head of the local vanguard, one Captain Marquez, should be able to help you find our man. for you. seen better days I wonder if the UC will ever fully restore it to its full by glory. all means Looking to lodge a complaint? Then you want UC security, not the Vanguard. Lots of old facilities left over from the colony war, and they like to pick them clean. Oh, apologies, Captain. Didn't recognize you without the uniform. So, what can I do for you? Or lace. Doesn't ring a bell. Anything you can tell me about him? Seriously? Out here? Surprised they didn't send out a general notice he's in town. Though, I guess there's less a chance he bolts if they keep it hush. But I expect we would have heard something... 
Wait. The Warlock. There's been rumor of a ship out there for years now. Doesn't respond to hails, never docks. More than a few amateur investigators have tried to find it, and at least two never came back. Ethereus debris fields are plenty dangerous if you're not used to flying in them. But if you're suggesting it might not have been the fields that got them, well, I can give you the coordinates of the Warlock's last sighting. Can't think of a better spot your Orlais might be hiding. I mean, I honestly thought it was just a story board haulers told to amuse each other. But if the pilot of the Warlock really has been dusting our people, well, hopefully you're about to make our skies a whole lot safer. Well, the original Den Star Station was destroyed decades ago during the Serpent's Crusade by marauding House Brune Zealots. A big part of the remains from those battles ended up gathering around Etheria, forming a nasty debris field. Every now and then, some headstrong scrapper comes limping back because they hit an 80-year-old mine. Or sometimes they don't come back at all. Though, maybe it's not just the field that's been picking them off. Sure thing. Here, this should get you pointed in the right direction. Go get your man.
Nice job. This is UC Security. Prepare to be scanned for contraband. Scan complete. You are clear to land in New Atlantis. Did you know I used to have an office near the top of Mast? Hmm. How far the mighty have fallen, eh?
back, Captain. Do you have some news for me regarding Dr. Olay's? Happily. But first, I believe you owe me something. Your evidence. Excellent. Please, deposit it in the transfer system. sure the remaining team members find their way to the Red Devil's headquarters. Except for one. That one you'll need to collect yourself. His name is Kaiser. You can find him on the Freestar world of Nera, wandering the battlefield there. The area was ground zero for Xeno weapon deployments during the war, so I would arm yourself appropriately. And I think you'll want to check in with Hadrian and Dr. Walker before paying it a visit. Kaiser will likely have security protocols you'll need their help to overcome. Is that so?